Hey y'all, hey, hello, hi, hi, hello. Y'all know I gotta take my glasses off because it's a glare, but I had to. I, had, I used to hate these glasses, but I'm I'm liking them now. But anyway, um, I had to get comfortable because this damn couch make more noise than. Oh shit. Okay, it's still making noise. It needs some WD-40. <laughs> no, it needs a trash. Okay, anyway, bump that. So check it. Um, y'all knew. <laughs> y'all knew I was coming with this, right? Y'all knew I was gonna say something. See, and the crazy part is I wasn't gonna say nothing at first. Like I wasn't gonna speak on the whole Eminem taking a knee situation. I was just gonna let let it flow because everybody talking about it. So I was like, ah, fuck it. I don't have time. Um, and then I thought about it, I was like, nah, it's definitely my shit. <laughs> This is definitely for sure my shit. Um, so listen. My opinion is my opinion. Let's get that clear. Okay, whatever your opinion is, is your opinion. This is mine. Okay, this is my channel. This is my opinion. Hold on, are y'all crooked? Child, I don't know. I left my good ring light in the car. But, uh, so my opinion is this. And let me just say, Eminem, uh, old music, I fucks with. I don't know none of his new shit. I'm not going to sit here and say I do. I don't know none of his new shit. I don't know anybody's new shit because I just stopped listening to new music all of a sudden, like a couple years ago. I don't know what happened. <laughs> like, I just play 90s R&B and Anaya Meets all day. So I don't, I'm not going to say that I know his new music. I'm pretty sure that shit fire, but I don't know it. Um... What's the matter, dog? You embarrassed? This guy's a gangster. His real name's Clarence. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's my shit, bro. Like, I literally have... I watched that video so much. It's ridiculous. Um, Y'all ain't real if y'all don't know 8 Mile. But I feel like it was a good thing. I don't have anything negative to say about it. If anything, I'm a little disappointed in African Americans who have something negative to say about it. Only because of this. And I watched a video, a YouTube video, and I can't, it was WAC 100 versus Royce the 5'9. And I was half paying attention. I was more so listening to what they were saying. So I don't know who said it. I ain't going to sit here and bullshit y'all. <laughs> I don't know who said it. I don't know which one of them said it. Cause they were talking and it was like no intro. I don't know. But anyway, they were saying, or one of them was saying, I want to say it was WAC 100, that we sit here and we ask, or we get mad when white people don't do anything to stand up for black people. Like y'all not going to say nothing. Y'all not going to do nothing. We get mad when white people do it. We get mad when famous people do it. Like it's always an issue with us. And I was doing a virtual event earlier, and I did state in that event, I'm like, us as black people, it's one thing for us to complain and rant all day, but if you ain't got no solution or you ain't going to do nothing about it, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. All right? <laughs> like, you just sitting, you sitting there fussing and ranting about racism all day. On Twitter, on social media, going off. But you ain't got no solution. You ain't doing shit about it. You literally just complaining and ranting just to be doing it. I don't understand it. I don't have time. Either I'm going to have a platform and stick to that platform and say what I got to say, or I'm not. And I have solutions for it. I've already done a lot of them, and I have future solutions for it. I'm not going to get into my resume. It's other videos for that. So, I don't feel like what he did was a bad thing. Period. Like, that shit was real. I'm not gonna lie. That shit was real. On mamas. Like, and then the fact that the Super Bowl or the NFL told him ahead of time not to do it. They knew he was gonna do it. And they told him not to do it. And he did it anyway. First of all, we know Eminem. You know he don't give two fucks about what you tell him not to do. He going to do whatever the fuck he want to do. <laughs> like, are we surprised? Like, are we really surprised? Like, that nigga, he been rebellious. Like, the fuck? 
like I said, I don't know new age Eminem. I'm not finna act like I do. But at the same time, I know old school Eminem. And I'm pretty sure old school Eminem ain't that much different from new school Eminem. So, I don't feel like what he did was wrong. I don't feel, because a lot of people feel like it wasn't his place because he's white. What y'all, what, what, what do y'all want from people? Like, are y'all ever satisfied? Like, what do you want from people? So you want them to, you want white people and famous people to stand up for black people and black lives and injustice and inequality. You want that to happen, but then when it happens, then you get mad that they did it and say it's not their place. I'm confused. I got questions. Because I'm confused. Like, what do you want? Do you want this or do you not want this? Like, why we ain't never on the same page? Why why are we never on the same page? And I didn't do deep research in it because it's this is purely my opinion. I saw the Super Bowl halftime show. I watched it on YouTube because I really don't fuck with football. And I never fucked with sports. <laughs> Ever. So, that's not my thing. But I saw it on YouTube. I saw the kneel. I, I, I saw it. Now, a lot of people say that he did it um, for Tupac because at the same time that was happening, Dr. Dre was playing Tupac on the piano, something like that. Even if he did, even if that is the case, what did Tupac stand for? Like, yes, Tupac was one of the greatest rappers alive, but he was also a very conscious man. So he was a conscious man. He stood up for black people. He couldn't be stopped in nothing he said or did. Like, people know him for that. So, it's kind of the same element. Like, whether you're kneeling to take up for black people, to side with Colin Kaepernick, to make a statement as far as African Americans versus whites and racism in America, whether you're doing it as a tribute to Tupac, it's all related to the same thing. It's still, it's a respect thing. So I don't, I don't understand, like, what do y'all want? <laughs> like, what do, what do we want? I think that shit was bold and it was fucking respectful. Now, somebody I, on the same video with Royce 5'9 and WAC 100, they said we should be grateful. I would not have used that wording. That's, that's not the correct wording. I won't say we should be grateful because that's, pushing the envelope a little bit like i ain't gonna say we should be grateful because <laughs> nigga i woke up and racism still exists so i don't feel like grateful is the right term i just feel like we should be supportive like we should be proud we should be happy that he did that not only is he white but he's one of the best rappers out there like he has monies we complain that rich people don't say shit or do shit but then when they do it we got a problem with that like i'm <laughs> this video gonna be short because that's i done pretty much said what i had to say i respect him for doing it i'm glad he did it he should have did it he went against the nfl to do it he basically said fuck y'all i'm gonna do what i want to do which is very Eminem-like. Like, I fucks with it. I fucks with it. Anybody who take a stand for black people, I fucks with it. I don't care what color you are. I don't care if you white. I'm going to take this out because it's going to keep falling. I don't care if you white, Hispanic, black, Asian. It don't matter as long as you standing for something. That's all that matter. You did it. It don't matter what race you are. You still made a statement. That's what we want, right? We want people to stand up for and with us, right? Am I missing something? Because last time, last time that I checked, if a guy got us quit, it happens all the time. I just bust out in rhymes. Like, it's the shit I do. But last time I checked, that's what we wanted. I don't know. Maybe I missed the memo. I, I don't know. Maybe I missed the memo. And then you want to talk about his intentions. 
Because that's the thing, too. Like, what was his intentions in doing it? I don't feel like he was mocking us just for the simple fact that, first of all, it's Eminem. Like, come on now. And he up there with Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige, Kendrick Lamar, all these black people. And you think he really going to take a knee to mock us? Come on, y'all reaching. Y'all really reaching with that shit. Whatever his, in, I don't feel like his, he had bad intentions. I don't feel like he was trying to do it to mock us. I made the video about TikTok Mama Savvy and how people was doing her saying that she was trying to mock us. Come on, y'all. Come quit, quit complaining all the goddamn time. Like, yes, I talk about racism. Yes, I get on Karen's asses. But at the same time, I got, I get on African Americans too. And if you didn't know that, that mean you ain't watching my videos and mean you ain't subscribed. So I'm going to need you to go and play them. I'm going to need you to go and play them. Okay, we didn't hit 1,500 watch hours. We need we need to keep going. We trying to get to 4,000. Come on, let's go. Let's hit it. So that's what I had to say. I ain't really got much to say. Everybody going to have their own opinion, and that's just my fucking opinion. Like, I respect that shit wholeheartedly. Like, that nigga didn't have to do it, but the fact that he did it, especially after being told not to, take that shit and ride. Because it's a whole bunch of black people or rich black people that either wouldn't have done it or ain't did shit for us. So take what you can get. <laughs> like what y'all want? What would y'all want from that man? Take what you can get. He he took a knee. Like, come on. We gotta do better, y'all. We got to quit complaining about every goddamn thing. God damn, we ain't never happy. <laughs> we ain't never satisfied with no shit. I'm going to bed. I got a headache. I'm tired of shit, but I had to go ahead and get that out. Like I said, I wasn't going to speak on it, but fuck it, we here. Um, I done said what I had to say. So y'all feel how y'all want to feel about it. That's how I feel about it, period. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, my new subbies. Hi, hello, hey. I love y'all. I see y'all in the comments, but why y'all not talking to me no more? Um, do better. Do better. Okay, say something. Like the video. I need all that. Okay? And until the next video, bye.